All right, guys, a couple things from yesterday's practice. Um, on the fielding part, a couple things that we really have to work on this week is our funnel and feet. Funnel and feet. When we're going to field a ground ball, I'm going to funnel it in and feed it. I'm going to funnel it in, feed it to where I can throw. If you notice, when I funnel it in, my elbows are going to work up. So I'm going to funnel it up, and then I'm going to feed it so I can have a good, nice throw. Um, that was the first thing. The second thing was our feet. Our feet were a little bit, you know, they, they weren't active enough. They weren't active enough. You've got to get active with those feet. You've got your feet filled first. Your feet get you in position. Your feet get you ready for movement. Your feet get you in line with your target. Your feet get you there, okay? And too many times, we don't rely on our feet enough, okay? Yesterday, we really worked on if we have to chop, chop, chop right, left, or if we have to take, you know, a bigger step or whatever. I really want us to work getting our feet in that position. Chop, 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 right, left, heel, toe, knee. Chop, 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 right, left, heel, toe, knee. And heel, toe, knee is super, super, super important. We've got to get that heel down. We've got to get that toe down, and we've got to get our knee over our toe towards our target that allows us to get more momentum to our target. All right? Um, and last is we were letting too much air get under um, the ball when we filled it. We want to really make sure that we either catch it on the long hop or we catch it on the short hop. We want to stay away from the medium hops. If we let that ball have a medium hop, then it's going to cause a lot of errors. All right? So you either want to pick it on the short hop or you want to let it long hop. Um, next, uh, on the hitting part, I want us to really this week, really, 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 dial into our triangle turn. So I'm sending you over um, some pictures, um, analysis from yesterday of you um, and some professional players. And I want you to really look at the triangle. So we have that torture chamber. And if you look, here's my triangle. So we have our hands and then we have our two elbows. If we have the torture chamber on, that bar goes straight across. And all that wants to happen is when I have this triangle, all that's going to happen is I'm going to turn that triangle and it's going to stay turned. So what's happening to us, and a lot of you I know said that the, tr the torture chamber hurt. Well, it hurt because you lost the triangle. You pull back your hands. You pull down your hands. You locked your front arm out. You pull back. You didn't just turn the triangle. All that wants to happen, you want to turn the triangle. A lot of us are going down. A lot of us are pulling that triangle down, and that's going to hurt. You want to think, just turn the triangle, turn the triangle, turn the triangle. It's going to start in the core. You're going to feel it in your back. My middle is really going to turn it, and then I'm going to turn that triangle. I'm going to turn that triangle. I'm going to feel it in my back, and then I'm going to turn that barrel. Okay? My hands are going to stay high and tight. We're not going to let them get disconnected. So the biggest thing I want you guys to think about is that triangle. What does my triangle look like? Am I keeping my triangle? Am I turning my triangle? Is my triangle going down? I want you to look at that on the pictures that I send over. All right? So make sure you focus and you, when we are doing our weekly work, you dial in to the triangle um, on hitting, to the funnel and feeding, um, when we're fielding, to the hops when we're fielding, um, and to the movement when we're fielding. All right, guys, work super hard this week. Pay attention to the details, and let's get better. Have a good week.